not sure if you can see it or even hear me because of the noise. With our study in James, we're talking about how we're a mist. Had a chance to walk to a waterfall today. It's running so hard, there's a mist everywhere around. I can feel it on my face. James tells us that we are but a mist. But we're here today, gone tomorrow. So if we're here for but a moment, it begs the question, what are we doing with that moment? As I hiked to that waterfall, it reminded me of one of my favorite waterfalls in all of the world. My wife and I used to live in California and we'd go to Yosemite Valley every year. And there was a waterfall there, Vernal Falls, that we would hike to the top of. And it was absolutely incredible. One of the most majestic places on the face of the earth. If you've never been to Yosemite, I recommend go there. But as you go by this waterfall, if you are at peak season, you will feel the mist on your face. The mist comes and then it goes and it's gone. And yet, the mist has an impact. See? It may be here, but for, a, but for a moment. But as we would climb to the top of Vernal Falls, the mist, the mist coming off the falls, had an impact. It covered the rocks along the falls and it made it very slippery. And yet, even though it came and then it was gone, the place that it had been, it left a mark. Same is true in our lives. We are here for but a moment. And yet, even as a mist, we have an opportunity to have an impact. Instead of planning, as James has said, that we will go here and we will do this, instead, we need to be intentional and ask the question, Lord, what be your will? We you know what his will is for us? That we would know him that we would know who Jesus Christ is as our personal Lord and Savior, because even though this life is but a mist, we have to make the most of it. Eternity is forever, so we must be prepared for it. So are you prepared for it? Are you ready for eternity? Even though this comes and is gone, we are eternal beings. In fact, in 1 John, it says this, 1 John 2, 17, the world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. So even though this life is short, we must make the most of it because eternity is long, so we need to be prepared for it. And to be prepared for it, we must know who Jesus is. My prayer in this time for you is that as you're going through this season, that you are finding him. If you have more questions, let me know. Message me. I'd love to have that conversation with you. Hopefully you're having a great week. See you tomorrow.